Good afternoon folks, happy Monday and welcome back to another episode of Adam's Eats. Hope you had a good weekend and as you can see on the board behind me, I'm going to make a chili con carne. Now this is a far cry from any traditional Mexican mole chili con carne recipe, alright? This is a British version, it's totally different. If you're going to make a Mexican chili con carne, you're going to use whole cuts of meat, probably brisket, pork, and you're going to use ancho chilies as well, which are really smoky, quite fiery, but really, really delicious. They're not easy to get hold of. Um, and obviously I couldn't get any, so that's not what I'm going to use. I'm going to use just normal store-bought chilies. I just wanted to clear that up. Mexican chili over there, British chili over here, which is what we're going to make. Totally different, but really delicious all the same. And now we've got the food politics out of the way. If you press that pause button, make a list of those ingredients, and the first thing we're going to do is brown off our mints. Right, so we've got our mints here. About 500 grams. Got a pan as well, just gonna get some olive oil in there. Turn the gas on, about medium high, and then we need to get our mince in the pan. We're just gonna start breaking this up a bit. And you wanna brown it, all right? Now, I think when people make a chili, they don't brown the mince enough. Well, any kind of meat-based dish, really, a pie, a stew, getting that brown color on there, it's just gonna give you so much more flavor and color. So we really wanna get this nice and brown. So put it on a medium heat, bring it up to temperature, and you'll notice that quite a lot of water and fat will start coming out. And you need the water to evaporate off so that then we can start browning the mince. So spend some time with it, give it a bit of love, and get it nice and golden brown. Now I've been at this mince for about 10 minutes now, and as you can see, it's lovely and brown all over. All the water's evaporated. If you're using really fatty mince, then obviously you can drain some of that off but that is kind of what you're looking for. So we'll get that onto a plate. Don't wash out the pan, we're gonna reuse that and this mince will sit to one side whilst we prep our veg. Right, okay, to prepare our veg, I've got a nice large red pepper, nice big fat chili, and a couple of medium sized onions. Uh, my recipe calls for one large onion, so I'm probably gonna use about one and a half of these. So we'll get those out of the way for a second. So first thing we'll do is slice our pepper, take the top off, and just like I showed you in the last video, we're going to slice down the side of each lobe carefully, running it all the way down. And you've got a nice little core that you can just throw away. And then I'm going to dice the pepper into small chunks, get that into a container, and then just repeat that with the rest of the pepper. Next thing we're going to do is slice our onion, take off the top, cut it in half, take off the skin obviously, and then dice it fairly fine, kind of like that really. Get that in the container as well and then simply chop up the rest of the onion in the same fashion. And the next thing we'll do is chop up our chili um, just by taking off the top and then just remove those seeds. Now another little tip for you as well to test how hot your chili is, just take your little finger or any finger really and just rub it along the membrane because that's actually the hottest part of the chili, not the seeds. Give it a little rub and then lick it. Yeah, that's fairly hot, not too hot. It's kind of sweet as well. And that'll give you a good indication of how hot that chili is. I'm probably gonna use all of that. But just remember, you can always add in, but you can't take away. So just, you know, add a little bit, and then if you want it a bit hotter, add some more in at the end, it's fine. So we're gonna chop this nice and fine. Again, add that to our mix. Next thing we're gonna do is peel and chop our garlic. I'm using two fat cloves here, but you could use three smaller ones. So just take off the paper, and then chop it finely. And again, add that to everything else. And that's all your prep done, so let's get on and start cooking. And in that same pan we used earlier, I'm just gonna add some more olive oil, then add in all of our veg. And then just sweat those veggies down for about five minutes until the onions are nice and soft. After about five minutes, you can see the onions are nice and soft, and it's now time to add some other stuff. To that mix then, I'm going to add two tablespoons of tomato puree and then add a teaspoon of ground cumin. I didn't have any already ground so I just got some fresh seeds and ground them up in a pestle and mortar. And then a teaspoon of dried oregano and about a teaspoon and a half of smoked paprika. Give that a good old mix. We just need to cook out the tomato puree for about two minutes. Uh, if you don't do that, it can taste quite bitter. So after a few minutes, we can now add our beef mince back in, then the chopped tomatoes, and also our beef stock. Give it a quick stir. And all we need to do is simmer this for about 45 minutes, maybe an hour, just until it's nice and thick and glossy and unctuous. I like that word, unctuous. At which point we'll add our kidney beans, a bit of salt and pepper if we need it, 
add some extra chili if you want it hotter and we'll also finish off with that nice dark chocolate as well. So I'll see you guys in about 45 minutes. Right, so it's been about 45 minutes, it's nice and thick, so we're going to go in with our kidney beans and then the magic ingredient, a couple of squares of dark chocolate. You don't need much, just a little bit, and then just give that another five minutes just to warm through those beans, melt that chocolate, we'll add a bit of seasoning and then it's ready to go. And of course, if you've got any dark chocolate left over, you don't want it to go to waste. That's about ready now, I'm just going to check for seasoning. Could do with a little bit of salt. Doesn't need any pepper because of the chilli. Final taste. Perfect. We'll give it a final spattering of coriander. Take that spoon out, don't need that anymore. Right, let's have a try. Right, here we are then folks, my chilli con carne. Let's have a try. I'm using the spoon because I can't be bothered with a fork. That is so rich. Could have done with a bit more chilli maybe. But that chocolate, what it does is it rounds everything off, adds a lot of depth and just a little bit of sweetness. You, you don't know you're having chocolate, but you'd notice if it wasn't in there, if you know what I mean. Would go great with some rice, put over a jacket potato with some cheese. I know that's a very British thing to do with it, but it is nice. Doesn't really take much time. It's cheap as chips. So honestly guys, give it a go. Well, there we have it folks. That is my simple chili con carne. British style. It's dead simple to make guys. Honestly, give it a go. Let me know in the comments what you think of the recipe. Stick around at the end as well because there'll be some links to some other videos. And if you want to stay up to date with all my recipes, click the subscribe button as well. Thanks again for watching guys. I'll see you on Friday for more tasty fun and frolics and bye for now.